Hi, I'm Joe, and I got a lot to talk about with this movie, so I'm just going to get right to the point. This is what the average consumer thinks of X-Men Days of Future Past. You'll need to go into the past to end this war before it ever begins. Use your power. Bring the X-Men together. It's going to take the two of us. Side by side at a time when we couldn't be further apart. Okay. First off, let me say that everything, most of the stuff I'm going to say in this video is very spoiler related. So if you haven't seen this movie, if you're waiting for the DVD, Blu-ray, or whatever, uh, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this movie. But I'll let you know uh, that I really like this movie. Uh, the plot of it is Wolverine has to time travel back to 1973 to stop a chain of events that result in a horrible future. Um, what I liked about this movie is the, this movie tried to keep together as much as the X-Men lore as they possibly could. Uh, the story was well written and well thought out and the special effects were great and everything that I didn't like about the movie is very spoiler related so that's what the average consumer thinks of X-Men Days of Future Past. Yeah, it's a Marvel movie, which means you have to stay for after credits. Anyway, uh, everything that I did not like about this movie um, had to deal with the climax and the ending. So everything I'm going to say from here on out is spoilers. So if you haven't seen this movie, if you're waiting for the DVD, Blu-ray to come out or whatever, you know, everything I'm going to say is spoilers. So if you might want to turn this video off now, which I'm fine with. Uh, if you have seen this movie... Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. So here it goes. For one, uh, what I didn't like was this movie took place in the 1970s. And America wasn't really that tolerant, or at least not as tolerant as they are now. Women were still being discriminated uh, against, even though it was illegal. Uh, peace activists just got done protesting the Vietnam War. And even the X-Men still have yet to gain their token black character, okay? But, somehow, a little person uh, got to become a major scientist that works with the government? Don't get me wrong, Peter Dinklage is a great actor, he's great in this movie, he's great, you know, I mean, Elf and Game of Thrones. Enough said. But I seriously doubt that a little person can gain that much power. Because I don't remember any little people being that much, having that much of an effect in history. Okay, and that's all I'm saying. I'm not being, I don't have anything against them, but I'm just saying America did. And it just felt like Peter Dinklage was miscast. They could have gotten anyone else. Also, and then, and then, here's the thing that gets me. Magneto can lift the old Robert Kennedy Memorial Stadium, put it around the White House, pull out a security bunker. But if Mystique doesn't shoot Peter Dinklage, then all is forgiven. No, 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 no. Even I was perfectly fine with sicking these flying Terminators on these superhero terrorists. They destroyed Buildings! You don't just say, oh, you didn't go through and make it worse? Then that's fine. All's forgiven. We'll, we'll, we'll call it. We'll call it. Fine. No! No, no, no! Lift it! Around! My house! Kill them! Okay? <laughs> I don't care if it affects the timeline. They did too much damage. Okay? Next is the ending. And that ending kind of reminded me of another movie. I'm not going to say which, but let's just say I'm pointing at it, okay? So Wolverine wakes up, he's a little disoriented and, you know, doesn't recognize the timeline he's in. He's looking around and it's a better timeline and 
people are more successful and people are couples are more in love and everyone's better off. Yeah. Dave, since when did you wear a suit? Oh yeah. Everything's great. Yeah, no, dude, the ending was the ending of the Back to the Future. I can't be the only one that sees it. I mean, so those are the things I didn't like. But even still, I really like this movie. It was my second favorite movie of the summer, and that's what the average consumer thinks of X-Men. They use a future pants. <laughs>